Welcome to the Human Nature Channel. I'm your host Alex Samsul and what am I doing here? Well, it happens to be not Tuesday but Wednesday morning here at my dad's lovely farm garage, the home of Farm Garage Chic. It's a mechanics ambience. I've grown up around this. Very interesting. We got a drill press over there. We've got a dual grinder with a, a motor and posts and two stone wheels off to the side that spin very, very fast. And I guess you can grind stuff with your left hand and your right hand at the same time. I mean, watching this machine work is like looking at conjoined twins. It's, it's astounding. There's a big workbench, big long workbench. And at the end of the workbench is a vice. Now, if you have a friend who has a workbench in their basement with the pegboard behind it and the tools on it, chances are they have a vise at the end of the workbench. And it's probably a medium-sized vise. But the vise I'm talking about on the end of my dad's workbench is four times that size. It's a railroad vise. The thing is huge, right? Um, the wheels that you see on railroad cars keep that in mind. It's like the Godzilla vices. I mean, the only thing that comes close to it is videos I've seen of rats in the Amazon rainforest that are really, really huge. The rats bear a passing resemblance to this vice in terms of size. So that's the backdrop to the Human Nature Channel's um, Farm Garage episodes, where the format is fighting the word um, and then making sure you say what the song is that you sang earlier, but which you will see at the end of this video. Yes, so I have the word um on an index card, scotch tape, to the glass surface of the door, the mirror door of the medicine chest behind this camera. The word um stares down at me like the eye in the pyramid letting me know that every time I say the word um, I'm going to sound like an absolute dummy. So, all right, I get it. The Human Nature Channel has four tags. Whenever I upload a video, I always adjust these tags, but it's about politics. It's about humor, which I can't help. Uh, adventures on YouTube and media. I'm going to avoid the cheap shot and saying they're all interchangeable. We're just going to stick with the program for this one. So anyway, let's talk about politics. The tone of politics today. You want to argue I'm not in the mood, call my secretary, make an appointment. Okay, that's all I have to say about politics at the moment for this video. Um, but I think the thing that's really on my mind is the adventures on YouTube side of this. Because, well, first of all, I didn't do a Farm Garage video last week because of Easter. I came up here to visit dad, spend time with him and my brother, and dad, being the frugal sort, says, hey, it's an extra tank of gas. You don't have to come up on Tuesday. So I got to stay home, which I appreciated, because that freed up time so that I could finish my last uploaded video, number 16, which I uploaded Monday night with some trepidation because I'm somebody who's been on YouTube for over a year and a half, I have the other YouTube channel, Movie That's So Groovy with Alex. I have the Human Nature channel. But uploading videos sometimes are a real problem. They take forever. I've, you know, a 15-minute video that takes 16 hours to upload. That's not uncommon. Videos freezing on me, yes, that's been a problem too. But anyway, after doing some research, I think I finally hit on something that has improved my situation, which is the idea that you may have programs running in the background on your PC or your computer that are interfering with the upload. And yes, this is the case. I happen to subscribe to a service called Advanced System Care, which there's a lot of features to it. I really do love it. I've, I've been using it for years and years and years. Cleans out all sorts of problems on your computers. But the thing about Advanced System Care is it's trying to sell you two products, an uninstaller and a malware fighter. Whenever you download Advanced System Care, you get these free versions of the programs. 
But what those free programs do is suck in the advertising every couple of days. I orbit, you know, which is the company behind Advanced System Care, is saying, hey, you want to buy a malware fighter? Hey, you want to buy an installer? And I'm always going, no, 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 no. But I finally figured it out. What I had to do was find the apps, go to start and get the menu pop up and go to apps, turn these two apps off. So the um, happy ending to this story is I uploaded the video 12.30 Monday night, not knowing what I was going to expect when I woke up the next day. Fortunately, it was at 93% completed. And within the next half hour, it was finished. So, adventures on YouTube. I'm making things better for myself. I'm really thrilled. And before I finish, the song is Bob Dylan's 115th Dream, written by Bob Dylan. Later... I was riding on the Mayflower when I thought I spied some land. I yelled for Captain Arab, I have you understand. Who came running to the deck? Said, boys, forget the whale. Look on over yonder, cut the engines, change the sail. Haul on the boat line, we sang that melody. Like all tough sailors do when they're far away at sea. I think I call it America, I said as we hit land. I took a deep breath, I fell down, I could not stand. Captain Arab, he started writing up some deeds. He said, let's set up a fort and start buying a place with beads. Just then this cop comes down the street, crazy as a loon. He throws us all in jail for carrying harpoons. Uh, me, I busted out. Don't even ask me how. I went to get some help. I walked by a Guernsey cow who directed me down to the Bowery slums where people carried signs around saying band of bums. I jumped right in line saying I hope that I'm not late when I realized I hadn't eaten for five days straight. I went into a restaurant looking for the cook. I told him I was the editor of a famous etiquette book. The waitress, he was handsome. He wore a pot of blue cape. I ordered some Suzette. I said, could you please make that crepe? Just then the whole kitchen exploded in boiling fat. Food was flying everywhere and I lived without my hat. Now, I didn't mean to be nosy, but I went to a bank to get some bail for Arab and all the boys back in the tank. They asked me for some collateral, and I pulled down my pants. They threw me in the alley when up comes this girl from France who invited me back to her house. I went, but she had a friend who knocked me out and robbed my boots, and I was on the street again. Well, I rapped upon a house with the U.S. flag on display. I said, could you help me out? I got some friends down the way. The man said, get out of here. I'll tell you limb from limb. I said, you know they refuse Jesus too. He said, you're not him. Get out of here before I break your bones. I'm not your pop. I decided to have him arrested. I went looking for a cop. I ran right outside, I hopped inside a cab, I went out the other door, this Englishman said fab, as he saw me leave a hot dog stand in a chariot that stood, parked across from a building advertising brotherhood, I ran right through the front door like a hobo sailor does, but it was just a funeral parlor, and the man asked me who I was. I repeat, yeah, my friends were all in jail with a sigh. He gave me his card. He said, call me if they die. I shook his hand and said goodbye and ran out to the street. When a bowling ball came down the road and knocked me off my feet. A payphone was ringing. It just about blew my mind. When I picked it up and said hello, this foot came through the line. 
Well, by this time I was fed up at trying to make a stab at bringing any help for my friend's Gap Narab. I decided to flip a coin, like either heads or tails, which would let me know if I should go back to ship or back to jail. So I hawked my sail suit and I got a coin to flip. It came up tails and ran with sails and I made it back to the ship. Well, I got back and took the parking ticket off the mast. I was ripping it to shreds when this Coast Guard boat went past. They asked me my name, and I said, Captain Kidd. They believed me, but they wanted to know what exactly that I did. I said, Paul, of the Pope, of me rope, I was employed. They let me go right away. They were very paranoid. Well, last I heard of a rab, he was stuck on the whale. That was married to the deputy sheriff of the jail. But the funniest thing, when I was leaving the bay, I saw three ships sailing. They were all heading my way. I asked the captain what his name was, and how come he didn't drive a truck? He said his name was Columbus. I just said, good luck. Whoa. There's a lot of words to that song. I need a drink. I need, uh, I need a little something new. You know what I'm talking about.